Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be the first video in a series of how to customize your show at blog. This week we'll look at customizing the comments area of your blog, making less space in between the images on your single post, and making sure that all your images in your single posts are 100% of the width so that some aren't too narrow. So let me turn my screen on and share how to do all those things. Okay, the first thing we're gonna look at is how to comment the blog comment area of your single post WordPress template. So just know that if you're in your site, any of these blog templates you see on the left, you're not gonna be able to um, preview how they truly display until your site goes live. That's because you have a temp domain currently and until your domain gets connected, you're not gonna have a WordPress blog to be able to preview things. So you can actually request to get a temporary blog so that you can preview how your blog and single post will look before you go live. So I would recommend doing that so that you are able to do this customization here. So that being said, I just have one of my templates open. I have the single post blog template open, okay? Um, so I'm going to go show you what this looks like just in the preview area. So this is what I'm talking about. This is just the temp domain, kennedyjames.showit.site slash single post, right? So this is literally the, the template from show it. Okay. This is not how it's going to actually display in WordPress. Um, I, as a design partner, they've set me up with a, um, test blog that I just use all the time. So I am able to preview what things will look like. So that's why you need that temp log. So by default, this is kind of how the comment area is going to look like, right? Like this isn't full width. It's real small. This button for post comment is not, um, you know, customized to fit within your site settings. So I'm going to show you just how pasting a little bit of CSS code into your single post WordPress template can do great things. So you can download this code. If you go to ribbonandink.com slash freebies, you'll see the show it CSS blog comment freebie that you can download and copy and paste that code. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I am going to grab my code. So I am going to grab my code. I just have an RTF file and this is the code that's going to be included in the download. And I know this looks like a bunch of jargon and it looks overwhelming, but don't, don't freak out. <laughs> All you have to do is select it to copy it. And then you're going to go into show it, go to your single post blog template over here on the right under advanced, advanced settings, go to custom CSS. Now you're just going to paste that code from that text file in here. Okay. And we're going to save it. All right. And then we're going to publish it. So what I'm going to do is go preview this in my temp blog. And to do that, I have to regenerate my theme in the temp blog that I have. This is my show at design partner temp blog. So now it's been generated. And then I'm going to go back to this. This is a single post from that temp blog and I'm going to reload it. Okay. So you can see now this area is full width, um, but I still need to customize this button. So I've taken care of making the comment area wider so it's not so scrunched, but I really want to customize this post comment button to be more in line with my brand. So I'm going to go back and just show it. I'm going to open up that custom CSS and there's a few little things that we're going to do. So the main thing that you want to look at is this submit line here where it says hashtag submit. Okay. So right now I have it set to be text transform means, do you want it to be uppercase, lowercase, or normal? So I usually do uppercase. So I said uppercase letter spacing. How much kerning do you want between letters? I said two background none. Okay. So there's a few things we're going to add. I actually want to make the background of that button of this button here. I want to make it blue because that's going to match. I'm going to grab the dark blue that's in this template and I'm going to make it the background of this button. So what I need to do is get the hex code number for that blue. And that's really easy to do. So I'm going to cancel this out. I'm just going to select something that is that blue. So this is blue. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go over here to the right to text style because I know that's where I can find the color. I'm going to select the color and look, there's a little hex code right there. So I'm going to select those numbers, hashtag three F four E 60. And I'm going to copy it on my keyboard. I'm going to say, okay, now I'm going to go back to that CSS. And to do that, you got to make sure that your single post page is actually selected. See over here on the left, how it's highlighted blue. And I'm going to go back onto the right under advanced settings to custom CSS. And now I'm going to go back to that hashtag submit area. And where it says background 
instead of none, I'm going to paste what I just copied. So now I have background is that color blue. All right, so I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna publish. I have to go back to my test blog under settings, show it to generate the theme. And you have to, when you have your test blog, you have to tell, show it where or what it's publishing. So you literally just have to copy and paste whatever your temp domain is. Okay, so for me, it's, this is my template temp domain, kennedyjames.showit.site. So yours might be some weird one, but whatever that is, that's what you need to copy and paste into settings, show it blog domain, and then you need to generate the theme. So now I have that generated. And then I'm going to reload my single post of this temp blog. And now we can see that the background of this post comment button is blue. But you know what? I can't see where it says post comments. So I feel like I need to change that text to white. So I'm going to go back and to show it. I'm going to go back to that custom CSS. <clears throat> and I am going to go back to that submit area here. And I'm actually going to add something. So I'm going to add the word color, colon, hashtag, and then I'm going to make it white. And white's really easy. It's just six Fs. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a semicolon. So this is what I added. Color, sem or colon, hashtag, and then my hex code. So you can copy and paste whatever hex code it is that you're making that text color for the button. And then a semicolon. All right. I'm going to say save. I'm going to publish it. And then I'm going to go back to that single post to preview it. So now the button is has a background that's blue and the text is white. Okay. So that is how you can customize the blog comment area for your single post template. The key thing being um, that if, if you have a, you know, your site and domain is published and you know, whatever, you don't have to do any of that connecting domain, you can just do this now to your normal site. Um, but if you haven't published it yet and you're getting ready to launch, I would recommend getting the temp blog set up so that you can preview how things will look beforehand. But if you're already set up, just go for it. So that is how you comment or that is how you customize the comment area of a single post blog template and show it. Okay, so now we're going to look at two things, how to make sure that all the images in your single post post are one are 100% wide, that they're all the same width. And how do we decrease the spacing between images? Just a quick note, if your image is not as wide as the rest of your post, it's because the image that you are inserting into your post is too small. So by default, your image needs to be at least the size of whatever this post content area is in your single post blog template. So if I look at this post content area, if I click over here on the right to size and position, the width is 900. So all of the images that you're inserting into your blog post need to be at least 900. If they're not, they will look like this. They will not stretch the full width of the content because they are literally not that small. Now you can force it with this code that I'm going to give you, but just make sure that your images are at least 100 per, or that they're, you know, wide enough. So I would recommend making them at least 1500 pixels wide. Another note to make is that in addition to making sure that your images are as wide as your post content and your single post template, so by to be safe, 1500 pixels wide should be fine. Um, you also want to make sure that when you're inserting images in here that you're not putting a space after it, that you're literally just entering them in. So you're not putting an image, enter, image, enter, don't hit enter. Just literally put them back to back. Otherwise, the spacing code is not going to work. Again, you're gonna go back to my freebie and grab this second part of the code. So you're just gonna copy this from your desktop, go back into your single post template, go over here on the right under advanced settings to custom CSS, and then after this bracket here, hit a couple enters and paste it. So what you're saying, what this is saying is it wants the image to have a margin bottom of negative two. So you can play around with that number. If they're too squished, do like zero or two. If there's not enough space, do like negative 10. You can play around with it. Um, and then it's telling it that I want the width of all the images to be 100%. Now keep in mind, you're forcing it to stretch them. So just keep with my tip of at least making the images 1500 pixels wide. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to hit publish. And right now this is, you know, this image was small. So 
So right now this image was small, but after adding this code in and generating the theme, it should stretch it to be 100% wide. So it did. So now you can see that the width of that image goes like the other ones, and the space between these images is a little bit smaller. Now just to show you an example, if I go back into my single post into that CSS, I'm going to change the margin bottom to be negative 20 just to show you. So I'm going to publish it. I'm going to generate that theme in the test blog, and I'm going to hit reload. Now you'll see that, uh-oh, the images are actually overlapping. So that's too much. Um, so negative two, at least for this, seems to be just right. So I'm going to undo that, change the margin bottom back to negative two, hit save, hit publish, regenerate the theme in my test blog, and then reload the single post, and it should be working. So that is how you make all your images and your single post 100% wide and adjust the spacing between the images in your single blog post. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Next week, I'll have a brand new video with some more blog tips for Show It. See you next time.